Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. Professor John Curtis has been looking at the numbers, doing the hard sums and the big calculations, and has cogitated. And once his slide rule had cooled down sufficiently, he's announced the results that neither Kemi Badenough nor Robert Generic are capable of winning enough seats at the next general election to defeat Labour. They just don't have it in them, as he said. Not verbatim, of course, but that was the gist. He says the long race to replace Rishi Sunak has resulted in the final two being announced, but because of all the infighting within the party, both of them are tainted. Both of them are seen as weaker than they should be, and neither are capable of attracting enough votes from both within the party and without to make much of a difference. He said they will win some seats, of course, Labour will lose seats, absolutely. But it won't be enough to take a government based on the changes even now. And that, of course, is very worrying, especially as if the uh, voters do lose heart, there's only one place for them to go. And we all know that reform are going to do very, very well. Latest polling, of course, puts reform third, second behind the Labour and the Conservatives were joint first on 25 each and reform in third on 21. It won't take much for the Tories to switch to reform and blast reform past Labour. And that will change everything in British politics forever. Now, the party faithful are going to be getting their little uh, missives this week. They're going to put an X in one box or the other and off it goes. And it doesn't really matter who who wins the the choice to be leader. Neither of them will be there in a year to 18 months. They just don't have it. And then, of course, it'll be one of two things. Either the uh, votes of no confidence will go in and James Cleverly will get it, or the votes of no confidence will go in and Boris will be back. Personally, I think Boris needs to stay away. Whilst he was charming, I suppose, He was able to charm people into giving their votes. He then basically misled them, lied to them and broke their trust. I think he is perhaps now more toxic than ever before. But nobody really trusts Cleverly either. And then you're going to have another situation where Cleverly will be the leader, but thrust onto the Tories by the MPs and not by the Tory voters. And that will drive even more Tories away. It happened when Rishi was thrust upon them. It will happen again. And, of course, these two um, equally bad candidates, really, um, Kemi and Robert, eh, they're both tainted. Generic more than Kemi Badenoch. And while Kemi is a good orator at the table, leaning in and having a go at them, she's never really had any kind of real authority And therefore, it's a big step up for her. And generic? Well, he did. He was Minister of Immigration. And we've covered how bad immigration was under his watch. And he has the 75,000 of dodgy money. Yeah, it isn't going to be either of them for long, is it? Curtis is right. Neither of them will beat Labour. It needs someone else. Thanks very much. Bye.